Hi, and thanks for watching this GSI webcast. I'm Bill Rem, and today I'm going to be showing you how to back up a single table using Oracle SQL Developer. The commands I'll use are usable in any tool that you want. It's simple PL SQL code. So if you have a tool you'd rather use on your database, go ahead and use that. I use SQL Developer personally because it's free, it's easy to use, and it's very flexible. If you have SQL Developer, go ahead and open that now. Connect to your target database and get yourself a query window. In my example, I'm going to be manipulating the JD Edwards Object Configuration Manager table. It's basically the brains of JD Edwards. So any changes there could cause serious repercussions if you mess it up. I'm going to select from the table that's in the schema of SY910 F98 6101 as the table. And let's put the from clause in there. That's very important. Otherwise, nothing will happen. We've got our data. First thing I want to do is make a backup. And in Oracle, you use the command create table. And then you pick a new table name. In this case, I'm going to call it SY910. I'm going to use the same schema, same table name. But I'm going to append the date. In this case, I think today is the 17th, yes, yeah, St. Patrick's Day. So I'm creating the table SY910 F986101, today's date, as select star from SY910, the original table, F986101. This table is now created and I now have an exact copy, so I can do whatever I want to the original table. If this were a real system, I would not recommend manipulating this table while production was active. In our case, this is a training database, so it doesn't matter. Next thing I want to do is rerun the select statement just to see what my columns are. And I'm going to make a change to this database, uh, to this table. So I'm going to update. Actually, I'm going to delete. Delete from sy910.f986101 where OME and HV, the very first column you see there, equals to EP910. This is going to delete every record that has DEP910 in that column. I picked that because it's going to be really easy to just select and see what's gone. Head of 9, 488 rows deleted. I'm going to run the select again. See that the rows didn't come up for DEP910. Now since we are we have not committed the, ta the uh, transaction yet. I can roll back, select again from the table, and our records are back. But if I want to go ahead and delete that, I'm going to delete it again. I'm just highlighting the row of uh, the command I want to run and hitting F9. I'm not going to roll back this time. I'm going to commit it. Now if we do a select, there's DV910, so we've deleted all the DEP910 records. If we hit, hit the rollback and do another select, you'll see that nothing has come back. The DEP910 stuff is just gone. So how do we get this data back? Well, there's a couple ways. Fortunately for me, I already know the records that I deleted. I have a full backup of the other table. Now I just need to select those same records back into the original table. It's very easy to do. I'm going to bump down these other rows and do insert into sy910.f986101 select star from sy910.f986101 underscore 150317 so I'm inserting into my original table and selecting from the backup and I'm going to use the same where clause that I used in the delete where OME and HV equals DEP, DEP, let's use a single tick, DEP 910. Hit F9. I am going to commit that. <coughs> Scroll back up, select DEP 910. Now we're back to where we were because we had a copy of the table as it existed when we started. Having a backup copy of a table is very useful in case you make a mistake, but it can also be used for other things such as work tables or other manipulations you might need to do offline and out of production. 
I'll talk about those in another video, but for now, thank you for watching this GSI webcast.